Hi everyone! You are watching Liab's League of Legends Wild Drift Alpha Test Basic Walkthrough. We'll be showing you what you can expect from Riot's new mobile game, Wild Drift. Right off the bat, we see a very neatly organized menu with easily recognizable icons, not to mention the awesome animated wallpaper in the center of the screen. Clicking your player icon brings you to your profile. In the overview menu, you can see the number of champions and skins you own, total matches played, and how many days you've been playing Wild Drift. This one's pretty straightforward. You get to find out how many games you've played on a specific champion and what's your win rate. For a more detailed info of each game, go to the Match History tab. More than looking at your KDA, you'll be surprised at the amount of info such as Gold and XP Graph, as well as Gold and XP Breakdown that can help you become a better player in your future games. First button in the set of icons in the upper right of the screen is the Settings menu. Under the General tab, you can change the language of the game, as well as automate some actions in-game. Change your controls to help you play more comfortably, arrange your quick chat list for better communication in-game, as well as manage the list of players you've blocked. If you have a good mobile device, you can crank up the graphics to high ultra high definition for that awesome 60 frame rates per second high resolution gameplay. Lastly, you can adjust the sounds of the game to your liking. Next up is the Activities menu. In Wild Rift, you can earn a lot of free stuff just by playing the game. You are rewarded with new champions as you level up and earn in-game currency for purchasing heroes by completing easy missions and challenges. Hit up your friends for a quick game through the chat service and check who are your friends that are online right now through your friend list menu. The store menu is the first button in the set of icons in the bottom half of the screen. Right now, there are 35 playable champions in the game and all of them are purchasable via blue modes, while Drift's earnable in-game currency. In the skins tab, there is at least one skin for each champion on release. But at the time of the production of this video, all skins are still unavailable for purchase. If you want to check your collection, go to the Collection tab where you can see all the champions, skins, and emotes that you own. The Loadouts tab is a core feature of the client that helps you prepare for each game properly. You can customize the items, runes, and spells you'll bring to the rift with each champion that you own. You can set at least 3 loadout to adapt to different kinds of builds and playstyles. If you're playing Wild Drift, we're sure that you want to find out how you stack up against all the other players in your server. The leaderboard tab lets you find out your ranking in the competitive ladder as well as how good you are with specific champions on your own server. Up next is the Vault. It contains all the other in-game items you receive or earn in the game, such as free champion selectors or XP boosts. And finally, the all-important play button. Hit this up and choose what game mode you would like to play. Invite some friends and press Find Match to start your next Wild Drift game. Thank you for watching the Liab League of Legends Wild Drift walkthrough. We'll see you on the Rift. Follow us on our social media channels fb.com slash teamliab, twitter.com slash teamliab, instagram.com slash teamliab, and youtube.com slash liab esports for more Wild Drift info.